So hello guys, today we're gonna teach you how to make kinilaw. So our feature chef for today is Chef June Fernandez of Cebu Park Lane International Hotel. And he's gonna teach you how to make the traditional kinilaw. Diba? Traditional kinilaw? So how long have you been eating kinilaw, Chef? How long have you been eating kinilaw? Since bata. So, so nagsigi na yung kinilaw. Especially that uh, my father's side is... Uh, Living in Bantayan Island, so that did Daga. So most likely, everyday kinilaw is just very normal for us. So as a chef and a teacher, but what do you... Unsa man ang kinilaw? What's kinilaw? Kinilaw Technically, is oh. most likely influenced from the Spanish. No? Uh, they use ceviche mangkot as a term there. There is a tua, it's kinilaw is using raw fish. Then uh, uh, newly picked and uh, vinegar. Fresh uh, onions, ginger, tomato, and calamansi. So that's a basic kinilaw, yeah, huh? That's a basic kinilaw. That's what you always do and what you always prepare in our families on every week or every Sunday, so there's a gathering. So, guys, here are the ingredients of kinilaw. So, what are the ingredients, chef? Uh, so, traditional, because I'll be making two kinilaw. Because uh, you can use it. Ang doga kinilaw kung buato ng isa is the original one, and the other one is the fusion, which is we oftenly serve in our restaurants that uh, mix with the traditional and the fusion as well. So for we go with the traditional one, we will use the fish as the tangige. So that's a fish. Yeah. Of course, you need fish. Then uh, we need uh, onions, onions, ginger, tomato, uh, calamansi, calamansi juice. Uh, fresh chopped uh, green chilies, of course the tuba vinegar and the salt. No, it's a very simple. No, uh, we use tangigi because it's very common here in the city. It's a Spanish macaron. But if you go to the province, you have barongoy, mangsi, toloy. If you go to Osayo Baloginsan, they have kinsan for their kinilaw. Wow, so you can use a lot of fishes or any kind of fish. No, especially the ba the melfish, the bangos. You can use it as kinilaw as well. Wow. So, on so, the high-end side, naman, we go with the other version, we use the fish Like tuna, tuna right? No? Uh, tuna and some, uh, we already pickled the onions, the cucumber We also have uh, lato and guso, seaweeds no? Then uh, we have uh, tuno or dagata, coconut milk, coconut cream We have cucumber, mango, turnips and red bell pepper Also, no? okay, let's start first with the uh, traditional yeah, uh, kinila the traditional so. one uh, very simple. No? Uh, in short, why atik atik? Mura gina siya pinaka simple. No? At first, ang ang kini siya ang amo na niya ang we already washed this one with vinegar. So you washed it yeah, with vinegar okay. because uh, para maintain yung freshness. So we don't really wash. We wash it first with running water, then we wash it with vinegar. So now it's already washed with vinegar. So we put the fish. Then we add the onions. Most likely the flavor will uh, will incorporate. No? Usually once the, the vinegar already uh, is poured on the mixture, gingers, more gingers, more tasty. Of course the fresh tomatoes. better to use tomatoes that are uh, ripe and so you also ripe the green one. one so the texture will be there will be partly soft and crunchy of the tomatoes then of course we add uh, green chilies yes then we put the calamansi juice then We'll add the uh, salt. Salt will give the balance of the taste, no? Ang uban mong uh, they will use normally the vinegar, the, the sugar and the salt together to add uh, something with the flavor, no? This one is the vinegar, no? As you can see, it's a uh, tuba. So it's coconut. Uh, it's coconut. Mas lami yun na ang pure na tuba kay wala naman na siya gyagi of preserve. So as simple as that, then we will put no, more calamansi, squeeze it. No. If you go to the provinces, most likely 
when they use the calamansi, no? Then we stir it, no? Slowly, kay ayaw sa don't push it too hard kay the fish will be ano no? Mas mas na siya. So, malata. So, as you could see, humot na kayo. So later on the color and the texture of the fish would change. Why? Because the because of the vinegar, no, the fish will be cooked. Mm -hmm. So medyo more, the meat will become more white here. No? This is the ready finished kinilo, no? In a few seconds, dali ra kayo. Wow, oh. so preparation time is just quick as long as andam ng ingredients. Yeah, diba? because this was during the time the the, the older eras. Fish is very abundant when it's time because Cebu is uh, surrounded with water. So tomatoes are just around, we are very abundant. So that's why it's very easy to make this one for the natives before, no? Yes, for sure, probably this was served at the time of Magellan. Yes, was... probably, actually, if you could see and read the book of Pegafetta, during the time when Magellan came in the Philippines, you know, they offered the uh, turtle eggs, goat's milk, but you know, now it's not, turtle eggs are not allowed. But typically <laughs> at that time, Coconut or tuba is already there, no? Yes. Uh, introduced and used as wine. So now it's not very you know, impossible that they use kinilaw because no, we were influenced already. No, in usas sa tung pagkaon sa Pilipinas ng ligid mawala. In every region there is a different version. Yes. Know? So while we will be waiting for this fish, nga mo so let it rest there. Yes. Para kami yahang timplada. The secret of kinilaw mga usually kami when we go to Baltaya. Pag dakop na mo sa isda, pag scrape, iwa. Kung mag scrape, buka sa dagat, tuslo sa suka, tuslo sa asin, dilaw. Yes. Parang ito really feel the, the meat of the fish, no? Ang anabang murag alive pa and it's melting in your mouth. Wow. Diba? And that's what you know, the, the, how the fish is very fresh. So let it rest. Yeah, so. now let it rest. We will go with the next version. This version, the next version will be very complicated, no? Later on, uh, I will try to play both plates, the simple one and the complicated one. This one, uh, we call this uh, kinilaw as kinilaw de fruta. You know why? Because we are using the abundance of Cebu, of we having the, a lot of mangoes or fruits. You can use it, any kind of fruit actually. You, know? you could use... Uh, so what's in season, right? What's in season, yeah. You could use lanzones, you could use uh, pineapple, it depends. So a bit, preferably a bit sour and sweet. And, uh, yes. yeah, so because sour. It's, that's why it's very nice to have mango, the ripe one, and uh, the green one because it will complement the sweetness and the sourness. Yes. So now, the same procedure. This is the tuna. No? Uh, we also wash this one with vinegar. No? As the same procedure as the first one. No, This uh, kinilaw is uh, 300 grams. Okay. No? We filleted it already. Oh, see how fresh it is. Wag yun mabungkag kasi because amo lang siyang squeeze gamay to squeeze out the kanang juice and the vinegar out of it. No. Then now we will add the ginger. This one would be perfect. No. We will be playing with flavors, colors. No. And this one is the calamansi slice. No. And this one is the green chilies. Do you like spicy kinilaw, bay? Oh! No, kami sa balay, if we really eat kinilaw, we want it very spicy. Kana ganing, after you eat ngam, kana maka, you would whistle aroma. Oh! Diba? Hanga, oi! Spicy, but you don't want to stop eating. No? Then, we will be putting uh, sili at sal or red bell pepper. No? Then, of course, we'll be using turnips or singkamas, no? Very fruity, very healthy, no? We would use pepino, no? I will be using two pepino, the, the fresh one and the pickled one, no? Why? To play with flavors, no? Then, cucumber. Then we will add the vinegar. Actually, kami dari sa hotel, we are doing our own vinegar as well. So you make your own vinegar? Yeah, because there's a lot of version of vinegar, di ba? So there's a uh, pinakurap, they have sukarap, sulirap, 
no? Our vinegar here in the hotel, it's called pinakurug. Pinakurug? Yes. Okay, it's, of course, when you taste so that's the... that's a spice vinegar today. Yes. And we put the uh, fresh spring onions, no? To add more flavors. Then, of course, no? We will add the mango. Our uh, audience at the back are drooling. <laughs> Especially this girl in front of me. No? Mm -hmm. oh. We will mix the red onions and the white onions later. If you wonder, because I already have the, the red one here. I pickle it already. It's already flavored. No? Then now we will add the coconut cream. No? Then we will add the. Then we add a little bit of sugar, gamay lang, no? not too much. Gamay kay... version of nice sugar, huh? Yes. Actually, everybody can make their own kinilaw, no? It depends. Wag yung magbuot niyo. Then we add kalamansi. Then of course we have batuan. No, uh, batuan is very famous somewhere in Iloilo, no? Because we have some fruits here, no? This batuan is a uh, citrus, no? Uh, family with the with, with the lemons, no? no? This is most likely very famous in Western Visayas, no? So now we will mix. So now we are now mixing everything. Do we allow the flavors to, to soak a little bit, no? Para at least ma absorb good ang flavor sa kinilaw. You can see the colors, the vibrations, no? the, the green, the red, the yellow, the Christmas colors, the very vibrant and very uh, nice to see in the eyes which is very tantalizing and enticing. So it's not just about the color, but also the taste as well. Because when you eat food nowadays, they're looking for Instagramable food. They take pictures first before they eat. Yes. No? That's why we, we need to make our food Instagramable, nice to take pictures, and very good to eat. So this one will take a rest now. Because we want to take a rest this one, we will be plating the version 1 of Kinilao 1.1 The common Kinilao So this is the... Mm. For a few minutes, this is how it looks like now You could really see the, the change of color of the fish, no? Ganina, it was so fresh Now, murag naluto na yun siya sa suka no? If you go to other hotels, you know, they use kinilaw and they put pungkan or buungun or grapefruit, no? usually. So, ang ato ang dandi kinilaw, the usual, the traditional kinilaw we do, we don't really need to act or we really need to make it more very elegant. Because why? This is a uh, food from Cebuanos that you eat it kinaw. Ang uban gani in the province don't use spoon and fork, they use their hands to eat it. No? Punit, butang, inamot, pungit. No? So now, we put it here in the plate. No? As simple as that. Why daghang arti? Of course, atong butangan o gamay nga vinegar no? to add more flavor no? because uh, 
the kinilaw is need to be very complex no you need to balance also the saltiness the sourness no and the sweetness of the fish because you know the fish alone has its own flavor no? then we put a little bit of spring onions and calamansi there you are you have your kinilaw to be applying the the art of culinary and gastronomy no? which is very famous and popular nowadays no? so we this will to, be the instagram kinilaw na uh, we need to play with the plates the plating and things no? so now you would see i would have here no? later on yeah, different pickled items like yeah. cucumber, onions. Yeah. This one is needed to be plated uh, as well. Uh, sophisticated, very sophisticated. Mingon sa jilaga, you know, people nowadays are very into healthy. Diba? Healthy kuno. Hi. This has already been cooked. Then now, we will be adding the guso. Here, the guso. Then, of course, the lato. All the items are bisaya and cebuano. Diba? No. If you wonder, then I'll be adding pickled gari or pickled ginger. Then I'll be adding some cucumber. It's very complicated, but very lami. Lami ka yo. Then you're looking for the pickled one. So this is the pickled onions. Then we will be adding some uh, bread on the side, and some uh, crispy chips on the side. No? Then we will put the, the mangoes on the top. No? And now, then we will add the sauce of the Kinilaw that would drip around the So finally, yeah, uh, there you have it, guys. This is how the kinilaw two ways. A bit at the tilawan ng ilang kinilaw, and let's see kung lami lami pa kayo. All right. So it's time to taste our kinilaw. And this kinilaw is the traditional one. This is the first recipe where um, Chef June just used the basic ingredients like the normal ingredients that we easily see um, in, uh, in, in like in most of the islands in the Philippines. We see coconut vinegar, we have fish, we have calamansi, we have some um, chilies and tomatoes and onions and ginger. Good mix of sourness, saltiness, and sweetness, even. And of course, some spice from the chili, 
Christmas is really like a party in your mouth. It's really nice to eat. We normally eat it with our hands and then, well, we're in the beach. It's a nice food to eat in Munich, especially during summer also. Mm. Mm. And we basically use different, you know, any fish in the season. Yeah, of course, the texture is uh, the softness of the fish, and you have some crunchy parts like the onions, the and some spicy parts like the ginger and the uh, the chili. So awesome. So now we're gonna try out the the modern version of the canilo. The the fusion version is basically adding new ingredients like. Mangoes, um, um, yeah, like seaweeds, mangoes. Yes, let's try the fish, of course. Mm. Yeah, the mango gives it another element, you know, an element of sweetness and fragrance. This is. Familiar flavors, but you add some different, another like layer of flavors in the mango and the fruits that you add. It's really quite interesting, and also other textures. The fish is, um, is soft, but also this mango, very sweet. Then the seaweeds are like the the whole is crunchy. Mm. Really good. Dude, and, and thanks to Chef Jun, now you know how to make it. And also, if you have any questions, yeah, you can PM us, make a comment, and we'll do our best to answer. And if you're lazy and you don't want to cook anymore, just come here at Cebu Park Lane International Hotel to taste it all. And you can even look for Chef Jun and, you know, ask him to make a quinila for you. So Chef, any final tips on how to make really a delicious quinilo? Uh, simple. Simple uh, kayo. Try to make sure that your fish is fresh and your vegetables or your herbs are all fresh. And once you do it together, everything is fresh and tasty. As simple as that.